Hey, daughter. Hey, father. What are you doing? I'm going on size up adventure. Awesome. Hey, guys. And look at all this trash. This is just terrible. Hey, it's Robert, and you're watching Sidestep Adventures. I'm out on a little creek hunt today. Cody and I are out. If there's a better way to spend a warm spring day than walking up a beautiful creek, y'all gotta tell me, because I don't know of one. I'm gonna take you with me on this little walk. We're gonna look and see what we can find. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the history of this area, too. We'll get away from the road. All right, so look, we got a first bit of excitement. Oh, shopping cart. I hate to see that sort of stuff out here. So beautiful. Until you see something like that. Of course, we are in the heart of the city today. And this creek flows all the way through the city, so there's going to be a lot of modern trash down here. And I've been down this way before. In fact, I think I, I shot a video when I was scouting out here in the wintertime and encountered a lot of trash. But I didn't get in the water because it was freezing cold. Not warm and beautiful like today. It is absolutely beautiful stream. I'm surprised about how clear it is. A lot of times it's kind of kind of muddy down here, but I guess it hasn't rained for a couple days and it's flowing nicely. It is just a beautiful day for this, I gotta say. And I kind of wish I had a boat right now because I got a long way to walk. Cody and I got dropped off back there at the bridge and we got to walk all the way down here and get down to where the river walk connects in so we can get picked up so we got a little ways to go but it's going to be fun there we go I think I'm gonna be able to do my nails tonight. It's a good color for me. Hope y'all saw that bird flying out of there. I think it was a heron. And of course, there's a reminder that we're in the middle of town. Big old sewer pipe or water pipe. Not really sure which. Look at the way the different color of the water comes into this crystal clear water. There's another little creek. Might be worth walking up one day. We're not going to get off track today though. And of course if you've watched any of my videos before you'll understand my hatred for seeing a bunch of tires. And there's two of them right here. I tell you, the more woods walks I've done I've come across more tires than anything else. I'm actually coming up to a part of this creek that I've been to before. I never walked this section, I just walked. It's kind of cool old tile. It's probably not too old, but it's a nice color. Anyway, we're coming up to a place where I've walked to before. Where there's a lot of junk. It's all modern trash. None of the awesome old stuff we're looking for. And look, there's some more. Oh, there's a bunch more tires up here. One on the bank over there. One in the center. One there. And there. Oh, socks. 
I hate to see that. There's another one in there. It's a real sandy bottom, but we just came through. Now we're getting into a more of a rock bottom, which is better. It means that there might be some awesome artifacts on top that are easy to see. Yeah. I'm going to walk up on this little sandbar, if you want to call it that. Got an old plate. Some other kind of pottery right here. It's kind of pretty. Oh look. Man, I find these everywhere. Y'all all know what that is. I wish I could haul all the trash I find out here out. I really do. But it would take a day just to clean up the little section we've walked through so far. There's so much of it. All right, back in the water. I'm gonna turn the camera off, turn it back on later. I'm gonna find something cool where it gets real pretty again. Look at the way this tree's in the water. It's kind of cool. I get a little hiding spot for some fishes. I haven't seen any fish down here yet. It's probably not a good sign for the cleanliness of this water. I'm just getting murky. It'll testing my steps there it'll clear back up though up here this is why I really couldn't bring a boat down here because half the time I'd be spent dragging it anyway because it goes from deep to shallow all right I'm gonna turn the camera off for real now I'll turn it back on when you find something awesome here's something and no, I'm not torturing you with another tire again Let's see what this is Patent pending. In general, I wish I could read that. Trenton, New Jersey, September 18th, 1967. So, not as old as I'd like it to be. It's kind of interesting. I don't know what that is. I feel like I should know what that is. I don't know. But I'll tote it out of here just to help clean up. And look, what do we have here? Well, that's a that's a pot top. I thought that was a hubcap. I'm not gonna tote that out of here. Because I'm carrying too much stuff. Gotta lay it back down in here. This rock right here. It almost looks like it was painted. Kind of interesting. It's really soft. I don't know what that is right off. Of. It's pretty cool. If you can identify what that was, let me know. Or maybe it's just a natural rock with, but it looks like. I don't know what those, those colorations. I don't know if those colorations are natural or not. Yes, they might be. Hard to say. It is amazing what a small amount of water can sweep you off your feet. Because I can feel a lot of pressure right here. And it's not deep water, as you can see. But I'm having to think about it and make sure I keep my balance. Water is a powerful force.
So I just fold this brick up. You know I got a thing for marked bricks. This looks like a fire brick. It's WWCO. Try to know nothing about that. But in this case, we're gonna leave it be. And right over here, we have, you know what kind of bottle that is? I bet you do. Or I should say, what kind of bottle that was. Pretty cool rock formation in this creek. Juts out right here. It's really pretty. The way it's been carved away over the years. Being a fly fisherman, I've always been against the droves of tubers that you see every summer in the trout streams of North Georgia. Call it the pink hatch. It's all the people float down the headwaters of the Chattahoochee River and disturb the fish. But I tell you what, looking at this creek right now, I think it sure would be fun to go tubing down it. It's really beautiful. So there's a small little creek feeding into the big creek here. Thought I'd walk up it just a little bit. Man, there's a lot of junk up here. A bunch of bricks and the shopping cart. I don't want to go too far. Because I don't want to... Oops, sorry about that. Delay too much from the main main adventure here thought we'd take a look at it and see what is down here well, I see one thing's down here Big old sewer pipe or water pipe. Not really sure which up here. Hopefully, all this water isn't coming from a sprung leak in a sewer pipe. And that'd be gross. Looks like the water gets real stagnant up here. And I don't want to walk much further because I have to come explore this little creek another time. So we're going to turn around. So here's some more reminders that we're not in isolation here but in the city that sewer pipe that we saw a few minutes ago and I found where it comes out at crosses the creek here I'm actually about to step down here and get this out of the water this caught my eye that's a that's an old cell phone battery and I definitely don't want to walk by and leave that in the water I don't know what kind of contaminants that gives off or if it does I'm sure it does but I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I just left that it's a bunch of junk over on the side where Cody's at a couple big rod iron supports have been over right there I don't know what I guess that went into this pipe here and then I don't know I just don't know I don't even want to guess this is one of the places where this creek gets deep in the center but also narrows 
That's no problem. I'm sure it'll widen back up. You'll be able to see the bottom again. What the hell was that? Like a gunshot. It did sound like a gunshot. I don't think it was a gunshot though. It sounded like someone hit that pipe. Just heard a loud crack. It didn't sound like a gunshot because. Uh, uh, know what gunshots sound like. It darn near made me pee myself. So I'm not sure what this is, but I think there's someone up on that bank following us. There's something keeping the noise from up there. Heard a loud crash a minute ago. Cody thought it sounded like a gunshot, and it did. It wasn't a gunshot though, but I don't know what that's about. I'm gonna head on down though. But first, look at this. I found my first gun in the river. Old BB gun. Anyway, let's help that out of there. I don't know what that is though. A little unnerving, but of course that's what happens when you're in the city. No matter how much it feels like you're alone, you're not necessarily alone. And I don't get creeped out very often. Because if I'm alone, it's alright. It's only other people that make me nervous. Look, I found my second river gun. Let's see if it works. Hey, it does well. It does, but it's got a terrible trigger reset on it. <laughs> We'll haul that out of here. There you go. Found a little creek cell phone here. Someone's old burner phone. No, it's a Samsung battery. It's an LG phone. I'm not really a big fan of the whole finding cell phones and stuff. I like finding the old stuff, as you guys have probably figured out by now. But if I see it, I'll pick it up and I'm gonna hunt this little sandbar we're standing on right now, see if there's any cool stuff washed up on it. I'm keeping my eye out too. I'm telling you, Cody said earlier he thought he heard some footsteps. We heard that loud bang, which I'm thinking, I'm thinking it was someone hitting that pipe with a stick or something. They hit it hard though. I'm wondering if there might not be a homeless camp up there. There's people camped out maybe trying to scare us off. I don't hear any more footsteps right now though. Alright, let's look around. Lots of glass in here. Don't know what that was. I don't know if it's new or older. It's broken anyway. There's a lot of glass up here, a lot of modern trash too. And you know what? I'm gonna show you every single one of these that I find. You know what that is, don't you? Actually, you might not be able to tell what that is. It's a Coca-Cola bottle. Look at this guy. He just hopped on for a ride on my arm here. A little cricket. And let him ride and he just flew off saw another bottle up here not sure where it went to though and I don't think it was whole just saw a corner of it sticking out I'm not gonna search too hard for it there's another tire anyway I'm kind of off of it a little bit right now I don't often admit when something, you know, makes me jump, but that sure did. And I often don't get nervous when I'm out doing hunting in the creek or something like that, but stuff like that. 
especially when this creek starts on the bad end of town anyway. So, you know. Alright, I'm going to get on down. I hear dogs barking now. I'm going to get on down a little ways. Walk a little bit and look. And get back in the right frame of mind and stop looking over my shoulder. Alright, so I went ahead and jumped on the creek bank over here. There's a creek down there as you can see. I walked down here a little ways. There's another sandbar. And I'll jump back down on that and then get back in the creek. I can cover a little bit quicker ground up here. That way we put a little bit more distance, a little bit quicker between us and whoever's up there on the other side. Well, 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 what do we have here? It's a cell phone. River treasure. All right, so obviously we made it to the sand bank I was talking about. Look at that. That shopping cart number, I don't remember. There's been a few of them. Now I've never been on this sand bar before, if that's the proper term for it. But I have been on the one that you can probably see right up there. I actually videoed it. I forgot the title of forgot the title of that video. It's a little broken bottle. It's an old broken soda bottle. I think it may have been. I don't remember. I was trying to remember what the title of that video is, but I remember what the title of that video was. It was the one where I found a boat in the woods. In those woods up there, as a matter of fact. So you've already seen this next sandbar. And, spoiler alert, there's a little boat sunk down there too. I'll show it to you again on this video. And look at this old bottle right here. I think this is the type of bottle that you do whatever to get the last drop out of it. It's going to be A1 steak sauce. I'm going to leave that bottle right there. My pack's already half filled up with trash anyway. This looks like, this is possibly, I could be totally wrong here, but it's got that circle right there. It looks like an old Dr. Pepper bottle to me. Alright, let's get on with it. I got myself a new screwdriver too. The Craftsman. Awesome. Take that out of here. Back in the water. So I've got a new hand mount for my GoPro. Hold on. Let me stick this in my pack mule's bag right here while I talk to you. Got a new hand hold, hand stick, or mount for my GoPro. Well, this is embarrassing. Alright. And uh, hopefully it's going to make less noise than that other one did. Because the other one that I had, as I'm sure any of you who've watched my other videos have heard it creak every now and again. Lots of creaking and all sorts of other unpleasant noises it makes. So hopefully this one, the handle's wrapped in foam, so hopefully this one's a little bit better. We won't have all that noise. It's a GoPro brand stick, GoPro holder, whatever. I think it's the floaty, something like that. It's supposed to float. I just got it because of the foam grip. Thought maybe it'd make more, not more noise, 
make less noise. Yeah, Y'all know what this is? MC Light featuring Xscape. All right. All right, I'm going to show you this stuff again. Only because we're here. Now look, there's another river gun. I'll leave that one where it's at though. So you got a bathtub. And we walk on down a little ways. Still a little bit of walking. Last time I was out here I couldn't get in the creek because it was ice cold. When I did that other video. I think I came down here with intentions of walking my metal detector down the creek and discovered it was way too cold for all that. Anyway, sunken boat. Look, sunken boat. We won't spend any time on it though. I think I spent more time on it before. Actually, we are going to spend a little time on it. I think I'm going to pull it out, flip it over, and drive it on down the creek. Not really. Well, 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 look at this. It appears as though someone else has been down here looking for stuff. We've got some competition, apparently. Hmm. What's all this? Interesting. That looks like that's got an acorn in it. That's a part of an oil filter. Looks like someone was out here probably picking up all this junk from the... Now that's cool right there. It's not a very old bottle. That was one that was in a fire pit. You can see. I don't think it's very old because the markings on the bottom. It's kind of neat looking. It's not sharp either. I'll take that with me. Anyway, probably someone out here collecting stuff from this sandbar. Because someone's cut an ATV trail through the woods back there which I don't believe they should be doing and there's ATV tracks right there all right let's get on where I haven't been before I haven't been much further than this down this creek so everything else is new and a mystery I haven't ever walked the creek down before like I just did but I have walked on the bank So everything beyond here is going to be new and awesome and exciting. And I think I might split this video up because I don't know how long it's going to be. Oh man, here's a got a murder weapon right here. Look at that. Anyway, I don't know how long this video is going to be because we got a couple miles of creek to go. So just in case I split it up, I'm going to say stay tuned for part two right now. Depends on, I don't, I don't quite know how much I've shot so far. I don't think it tells me, but I don't know. Let me ask, let me pose this question. And this will remain in the video whether I split it up or not. Which I probably am going to split it up this time. More I think about it. Whenever I'm walking and shooting, I'm always thinking about how I'm going to do the video and everything. I've got a thousand thoughts going through my head. But anyway, let me ask you guys this. Would you prefer, like if I'm doing a creek exploration like this, would you prefer one long 30 minute video? Or however long video? Or several shorter videos split up? You let me know in the comments. And I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to split these two videos up. This will be part one. And starting down there will be part two. So stay tuned for the next one. It'll be coming at you very soon.